What a day. So, I guess, in my daily video or daily photo of the day, whatever you call it, because I always produce some sort of content. I think you guys know and understand it. If I've really got the time and I've got the energy and I feel all right to do it, I produce something every day. That's how I get out there, get out front. Anyways, I did a little thought for you today. So I get up this morning and we race back here, okay? And we're, we're on the road. I get my things done and I go head up, you know, it's afternoon. And on Sundays here in Kansas City, I got to go hang out with my uh, BJJ family and judo family here in Kansas City. Big shout out to uh, my sensei, Mike Graber. Big shout out to uh, my other sensei who's a judo black belt. Uh, Mark Lozano. <clears throat> Good friends of mine. Good friends. Can't ask for better friends, honestly. Trust me. I mean, you guys know what I'm talking about. Who are my BJJ family, anyways. Look. Showed up anyway. You know, I've been feeling kind of under the weather. And I've had a kind of a cold sinus infection. But you know what? I showed up anyway. May have been a little late, but I showed up. And that's the thing. You keep showing up somewhere and you keep committed. Stand in the fight. Because you're fighting for yourself, your own education, and your own way of life. All right? You'll get somewhere. All right? So, the great thing about being around the people I'm around in Jiu Jitsu, and Gracie Jiu Jitsu, and Judo, they become your family. They do. And a lot of people don't understand this. My career really started to be really take off after I came back to jiu-jitsu. It not only gave me a confidence, a swagger, but it also helped me start recovering from my really bad illness, as we all know, almost took my life. And, and it expanded my friend, friend, friendship base here in Kansas City in the Midwest and all over the world, literally, tens full, by tens and tens folds. Well, it never stops. Uh, should I answer it? All right, let's see. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I probably wouldn't be able to help you right now, but I can definitely take your call tomorrow, okay? People calling after hours, you know. I want to help them. But look, Sunday night. I don't have to be working right now. We all know that. Anyways, whatever, right? <sighs> he just hung up on my ass at me and hung up on me. I don't know. Anyways, uh, so let, let me talk to you about something. My friendship base really exploded when I got back to the Jiu Jitsu. And you know, a lot of people are scared to put themselves out there. But I, 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 I but even some of my teammates have talked to me about this. You need to be careful about doing that. And some people, uh, you know, may see you as, you know, naive, weird threat. And may, maybe. Some people may see you as just naive. And that could work in your favor and against you. I get that, you know. Just like my blog. You know, why not tell the truth and just put it all out there? Because people are interested in other people's journeys and stories, right? Right. So, that's what I'm doing, you know. I, I, I gotta admit, I've got a simple formula that works for me. And that's creating content, creating... I'm giving you guys a window inside my life, all right? And, look, after judo today, me and both the senseis went out to, you know, lunch, all right? At a team meeting, lunch. And it was excellent. It, it's up. It, it's times like that that it makes you really appreciate the friends around you. Really does. I had a tough week of work. I had a tough week. I mean, brutal. Where I'm having to solve complex problems for our policymakers here in the Midwest. All right. As I'm the guy that puts them out front in the media. I'm the guy that gets them the attention. Not only get reelected, but the attention for important topics. That's what I do. And all that, I got my own business to run on top of that. So people ask me, how do you do all this? Well, the truth is, I just take it one step at a time. I am... I, you can only do what you can do, all right? And a lot of what I do is 
unpaid, unpaid work. Because the opportunities that is attached to it are so big that why not volunteer for the opportunity? And that's the thing. If you're not working to better yourself, you know, if you're not working to better yourself in life, what are you doing? What are you doing? I see so many people who are dissatisfied with their lives. They're dissatisfied with the status quo. Go to work every day. They get paid. They sell their time. You know what ends up happening? They come home depressed. They drink. They're alcoholics. They maybe they're drug users. You know what? I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't do anything that harms my health. And except maybe every once in a while a cigar. But I had to cut that out because one of my instructors was like, I see you doing that again. I'm getting with you. I'm going to choke you out. You know who you are. Mm. Yeah, so it's a no-no for me. I guess I'm done with cigars. <laughs> Even though it's an old naval tradition. All right? That these guys care about me so much. I get it. I understand. I appreciate it. I do. I do. So anyways. My thought and topic of today is this. Appreciate those people around you who want to make your life better. And put the work in. Put the time in. Spare no expense in making yourself better. Spare no expense making your investing in yourself. Not only emotionally, but with relationships and people in your community. And you will grow as an individual. Give. Give from the heart. And you know what's going to happen? People are going to recognize that you care. You care. You don't have to be the best at everything. God knows I am horrible at a lot of things. I may be a jack of several traits, but master of none. And people know that. But I do know what I'm talking about on some things. And I'm kind of an expert on a few things. But I'm not a master of Okay. One of them is videography. Second is marketing. Third is politics. I'm not a master at it. But you know when it comes down to it, I know how to get things done. I know how to get things out there. I know how to get seen. I know how to get attention. This brings me to another point. Tomorrow. I'm going to be presenting for Global Entrepreneurship Week, Kansas City, tomorrow morning. And I got to strategize tonight because the truth is, I don't know what I'm saying. I know I got a strategy that I'm just going to roll with. I'm sure. And I'm going to go to cameras there, maybe media there, whatever. But I'm going to be there giving entrepreneurs a fighting chance to help them. Take the information and experience I've had to learn and gain the hard way. And then share it with them on stage. And hopefully watch them flourish. So I'm not going to sell them guys bullshit. I'm going to give them the real deal. Let's just face it. It's all who you know in your relationships. You can cold call all day long. But you know what? If you don't have the ability to formulate develop those relationships you will never get anywhere All right. for years I tried failed one door in my face after the other slam doors and hang phone calls and phone. but you know what I ain't quit after a while like, this guy ain't going away who is he going research it. who is this dude your ability to accept and take rejection will help you along to stay positive man I don't take anything personal. Sometimes, I, sometimes I've taken things personally and I shouldn't have. But then again, my illness played a part in my psychiatric well-being. And let me tell you, it's rough. It was rough at times, man. Yeah, I was so conditioned to be the best at everything in the military. You know what? Get out of your civilian realm. Please, man. Please. So, I gotta give a shout out to, uh, I should say Mark Judo for talking with me today and we was talking all talking there. And we all strategize we're on top. I appreciate you guys. I'm Mama Gracie and my two family in Kansas say I love you guys. Appreciate you. Uh, this is my thoughts of the day. BJJ and Gracie Jiu Jitsu will change your life. If you allow it to come in and commit to it, it will change your life. I promise you. Appreciate you. That's all I got. Please comment, share, and like. Those of you guys that do not know me, my name is James Shaw. I'm coming back. And uh, those are my thoughts for today. Appreciate you. Please subscribe. Please share the video. Please comment below what you think.
take up off base, and take up screw ball, nut ball, tell me below. Destructive, constructive criticism is always welcome, but I'll tell you this. I think uh, I'm not going to have too much of that. So thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Thanks for having me doing my life. Appreciate you. Talk to you soon. Good night and good luck. Take care. See you next time.